We made it guys, Clear Lake, California. We've got like five different tournaments this coming weekend, giving ourselves about a day and a half of practice. We've been fishing for five minutes. I think we've confirmed this pattern. Three o'clock guys, tough. Six pound liter. AKA weekly daily drinking. Oh, is he gonna need to back in? He's gonna hit your car. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow, buddy. Thank you. He's like, yeah. oh, really? Are you an influencer? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we up this early? Uh, we like the torture. Torture time? Oh, my God. We got one on the dock. <sighs> Actually, not bad at all. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're out of here. We are out of here. Quality's here. Thank you, sir. To a solid prefish, man. Cheers. Cheers, man. Okay, folks. Prefish is over. Honestly, today was good. Let's uh, head in. We'll see. Post another video with a thumbnail that says, did I just catch my PB? Did, did I ever do that? So we got Mike here. What are you rigging? It's a hook. Terrence, how are you? I'm doing good. I got a limit. And now let's consult Mr. Clear Lake. You fish this lake a lot. What do you think it's gonna take for two days to win? Mid 90s a day. Mid 90s each day? Yeah. I've broken 90 inches one time here in my life. Now bridge. It's like well, you heard it, guys. Yeah, I'm excited to fish hard for three days. I will see you guys tournament day of Friday and Saturday, West Coast Championship. I'll see you on tournament day. I mean, think about every tournament we've come here for. Someone always gets like mid 90s. So what's it gonna take for two days? A lot of sleep, coffee, beer, and a limit. <laughs> okay, guys. Good morning. Welcome back. We are here, Clear Lake, California, for uh, multiple tournaments. Multiple tournaments going on this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We've been here a couple of days to pre fish. Excuse the darkness. Let me put this in my truck. But here, today is Friday. I'm gonna list them right on the screen just as to what we're participating in because there's a lot and they're different days. Big pots, big payouts. I think the big tournament for this weekend starting today, Friday, is the West Coast Championship. Day one, best anglers qualifying event on the West Coast fishing this tournament. There's one of them right there. Mike Ensign. Yeah, today's day one West Coast Championship. Two day event, of course. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big one. And it's gonna be, I don't even know what the word is. There's so much going on. So many tournaments. I've got like three identifiers on my phone. <laughs> that being said, we're gonna finish up the coffee, head to the ramp, get unloaded, and hit the water for first cast. Big tournament this weekend starting today. We'll see you guys out there. Here we go. I think we're just gonna throw top water till our arm falls off today and hope for five big ones. Can't see anything. It's crazy. Can you guys hear the mosquitoes or the bugs? There must be a swarm of them up in these trees. Yeah, so far, nothing. Half an hour in, I haven't even seen a bass blow up. I've seen or heard carp jump. Bait's still here. This might be a deal where we gotta kinda wait for the sun to come up. Oh God, I got one. Oh, golly. 
Oh, I just dropped the motor and he must have sucked it under. What in the gosh name? Come here. Yes. What the heck just happened? I was just dropping the motor. I didn't even hear him. Alrighty. We'll take it to start. What the heck? Look at these million identifiers I got here. Number one. Thank you, sir. Maybe I gotta let my bait sit there a little longer. I don't know. Move the toolie. Saw the fish move the toolie. And I saw it wake on the frog too. Oh my god, a strong, strong fish. Dude, he is hot. Oh my god. I think I got a photo of him at least. Yeah, Woohoo! thank God, I got one photo of him. A little escape artist. Same pattern though. These fish are literally, in, I mean, up in those tulies, those roots are in like eight inches of water. These fish are just cruising super shallow and just pinning this bait. So shallow. August, August Clear Lake, and they're in less than a foot of water. How did that happen? Banks got him. That's a better one. Damn, this one's hot too. What is going on? There's a good one. Man, you think I've never done this before? Take it. Take them all at this point. 13th recorder, number four. Thank you, sir. It's kind of our secondary pattern right here. Drop shot and docks. Not all docks, only certain docks have fish. But it is a thing we can do and probably get bit. That is such a shame. Oh God. Dang it, how'd he miss it? There we go. 
Oh my god, no way. Look at the size of that clear lake giant, guys. Oh my god. Can you believe I just caught that fish? Dude, is that the smallest bass ever caught on a chapo? I mean, that's literally the same size as the chapo. You can't even long arm this one, it's so small. Wow. <laughs> Funny thing is, he still hit it kind of hard. out of nowhere too. It's been a while. I took forever. Ain't that frog though. Not a giant, but it's a limit. 840. Number five. That limit feels good. I think that'll call. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Got to get rid of a 13.75, I think. That might be a little 14-incher. Give us a quarter inch. Oh yeah, that's a call fish. <laughs> call number one of the day. There we go. Come on, buddy. Look at the end of the dock. Oh, that's a good one. Come here. Come here. There we go. There we go. All right, this dock has a couple of fish on it. Cool. Ooh, that one's got some weight to it. Fat one, holy smokes, look how fat that fish is. Typical Clear Lake bass right there. All right, another cull. You gotta get rid of a 15 and a half now. Dude, this guy's got him. He's got a bunch of fish on it. That's a small one, I think. It's funny. Big school of fish just under one dock. It's kind of the obvious dock, but... Little guy. I'm definitely save this for the next couple of days, though. confidence booster we needed explore new water shallow 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 is the name of the game 
dude, that fish nipped it. It almost hit it as hard as that like one inch or hit it, you know? It just, you just don't know. Not a huge blow up, you would have never known that was a giant. <laughs> or a big end, not a giant. Oh. God, he missed it. They're here. Oh, that wasn't even my frog. That was my line almost. Oh. Oh, out in the middle of nowhere. I think it's another good one. There's big fish around here, guys. I was just about to leave too. Literally just about to leave and move on. I think that's a call, I think. I gotta get rid of a 1625. Nice, 17 incher. Guess just keep randomly throwing this chopo. That one came up and got it. Golly. Oh, it's a big one. Come here, come here, dude. Come here, come here. Oh, come here. Yes. Dude, they're here. The only way to get them is to call them up with a Chapo. This little Chapo 90 is the money maker today. A little bigger. Seventeen and a half. Thank you, sir. Eleven thirty. Do we dare check? Oh, yeah, people are crushing it. <laughs> My gosh. Oh my gosh, people are crushing it. Man. Come on, buddy. We need that kicker. We need that 20 plus. We're just asking for a kicker, and the fishing gods have given us the kicker. Giant. Look at that. Look at that frog. Look at that frog. Oh god, my heart is pumping. Easy girl. I'm so glad that fish came back for seconds. This is why I don't truly know if it actually helps, but it definitely doesn't hurt. We sent the frog up real stink like. Oh man, I'm shaking. 
What's up, man? Just finishing this one out. It's been kind of a weird bite for me today. Yeah, they're, they're, they're mixing my top water a lot. Yeah, I had. Oh. Right there, he missed. He missed the top water, just like you were saying. <laughs> Oh my god, I know you guys saw that. That came out of the water. Dude, that was like a giant. Oh my god, that was one of the craziest things. Oh my god. Okay, 1.30 guys. 1.30, day one over, or at least day one of the West Coast Championship. The Lakeport Tournament, of course, is over, and then KBF Trail day one is over, but day one of the big one, I think we had a little over 90 inches. Super happy with that, to be honest, because I didn't even know if we'd be able to crack 85 today, but man, it was tough. We had to run around this section of the lake, really just junk fish, and I mean, we fished pretty clean too, so definitely uh, in contention heading into tomorrow for the championship day two. As always, Clear Lake showed out, people caught him. I think we'll probably meet up with the fellows to grab some food, and uh, we'll see what uh, the results for day one are. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, day one in the bucks. Uh, I think we just gotta, we gotta say it right now. Huge congrats, cause wow, what an accomplishment for Mr. Alden Walden right here. Woo! 100 inches on Clear Lake. Oh my gosh. You know what, I'm gonna just let you take the camera and you tell him what did you do today? Cause I think that's very interesting. Uh, today, uh, this isn't gonna air for a while, right? Yeah. It's not gonna air tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> Started the day in mid lake. Didn't pan out. Caught two on the white hogs first thing in the morning. Ended up trying to fish new water. Today is my pre fish day for the Yakabass tournament and entered the Lakeport tournament. Happened upon um, some fish in the middle of nowhere, literally middle of the lake, under mats. Free floating mats in 30 feet of water. There was bait on the mats and there happened to be fish. Big fish on every single one of them. First indication that there were fish there. Hooked a absolute gork on the frog lost him tangled in the mat next cast on a mat next to it caught a 22 and a quarter the next cast on another mat caught a 1975 and then from there i think it was about two hours and i think i caught 30 30 plus fish over 18 inches just cookie cutter 18 18 fives for the rest of the day it was just amazing congrats to aldi first place for the lakeport tournament he didn't enter the other ones but first place he got a cool like 1100 bucks just a cool 1100 awesome amazing and uh yeah like i said Congrats to Aldi. How'd your day go? Really good. I think you're 66. I'm 67. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very proud. Yeah. Had oh. a hard day. Almost as many years as you guys are old. Good Actually, kid. it was the year I was born. 67. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 67. <laughs> I used to work at the Marina Tahoe, we used to do. At the edge? He can feel it in his lateral line. Since 1980. <laughs> Most suckers. Congrats, Aldi. Congrats to Aldi. Heck thank yeah. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're going to eat fish tacos because I didn't catch them. Inside of me. Oh, hey, video camera. Damn it, you never say that. I'm gonna walk in and burp in it. God, it's freaking it, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy windy. Oh, 
this is not the spot I wanted to start guys, but it'll have to work. I'm gonna wait for this wind to die down before we venture across the lake. I don't want any sketchy situations. 542, first cast. Kinda <laughs> going on the fly this morning with these different unexpected conditions. There we go. Uh, he's gonna jump. I can sense him. Uh, we got a net them all here. Oh, little guy. All right, all right. I still want the chop though. What's going on here? He's got like the net all weird. What the heck? That is weird. That's very weird and I have a huge hole in my net. Apparently, fishing on the fly. Yeah, it's a small one. That's ah, number one, though. Okie dokie. And that's why you tether your phone. Alright, let's cross now. Oh my god, all right, we made it guys, not gonna lie, that was a little dicey. That was a little dicey, but we made it to the spot I originally wanted to start at. <sighs> kind of a late start to everything, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Maybe it'll be good luck and it'll have forced me to come here a little later and they'll be biting better. something big swirled on it how did he not get it oh my god no second chances oh my god he missed it again dude they're just not getting it today Finally one connected with it. Finally one connected. Come here. Man, he's fighting hard. It's gotta be a big one. That's a good one, a decent one. God, I'm glad he got it. I'm glad he got it. Why didn't everyone else get it? All right, 17 three quarter. I'll get us started. Not a bad one, actually. Probably one of the bigger ones we've caught on the drop shot. 16, I think. All right, number three, number three. Too. We got him. Four. 
but this one is hot. I can see him trying to be an escape artist. If he's kind of like a wagon like that, they want to flop. All right, number four. I still don't think I'm really getting them that good because the hooks have been like kind of outside their mouth. Not sure if they're really committing 100% to this bait, but at least they're they're biting. I noticed today, well, it was yesterday too, but definitely got to go as slow as you can with this chopo. If you go too fast, they won't bite it. Slow, slow with this thing. My golly! Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. He's trying to shake it. He's trying to shake it. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh my god, I got one little treble in him. He, he didn't even want to get it. I got a pimp dog goofy like. Oh my god, it came out of his mouth and hooked him in the side. Dude. I cannot believe that just happened. He didn't even get it either. He got just a piece of the back hook. It came out, it's, and the other hook swung into him and kept him on. Unbelievable how that just happened. That was lucky. And that's a big one, too. Oh, yeah, look how long that one is. Number five is a good one. Nice one right there, guys. Oh, thank you, girl. We got lucky to land that one. All right, 818, there's a limit. Super strange morning, but somehow got that limit. There's quality over here, I know that. Ooh. Oh my God. What? I didn't even know they got that small and clear lake. Dude, that is a tiny clear lake bass right there. Giant foot of freaking water. Foot of freaking water. Just gotta go shallow. Yeah, buddy. Easy. Yeah, buddy. It's a nice one. Thank you, sir. Again, just nipped it. Didn't even know we had the fish. Oh, another big one. Right up shallow. Dude, that's the deal. Always oh, get me in the toys. Come here, sir. Oh, I thought it was way bigger than that. Darn it. I don't think that one's gonna call. Um, what do we got to call? Yeah, he's not going to call. Little guy, man, I thought he was a giant. 
Dude, I'll tell you what, you don't want to drift under a Clear Lake, Doc. Clear Lake has got the biggest freaking spiders I've ever seen. I don't know if it was big, but I wanted to find out. Shoot. Well, I got a frog bite at least. Oh my God, there we go. That's a call and a half. Just junk fishing, junk fishing all day. Man, oh man, the bigs moved in. These fish are angry. Oh man, I thought he was bigger. Oh God, that was a mean fish. We're both bleeding. One more, one more giant. If we catch it like a 23, oh my lord, that would be serious business then. Serious business with like a massive kicker. Get rid of a 16 and a half now. Dude, they're in here. They're giving themselves away. It's funny, I didn't get a single frog bite in this stretch yesterday, but we were here in the morning. So again, it's like when the sun comes up later in the morning, there's a different group of fish that come up and chase this bait up shallow. That was like, that fish didn't even come for my frog. That was like, perfect timing. Oh my god, I almost threw the frog in his mouth. That sucks. That was a giant. That was a giant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, he's not that big. I think he's a call though. I think he's a call. Yeah, as soon as that frog hit, he hit the frog. These fish aren't as long, but they're thick. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. 16 and a half. Gotta call it 16 and a half, and it does not do that. Man, they just hit it so hard, you know? It seems like they're all giants. Oh, that might be a call. I lost pressure on him. I think that was a call. Oh, baby, one giant, one giant. I know there's giants in here. Every bite we've had so far has been solid on a frog. It's almost 12 o'clock, a little over an hour and a half left to fish. Part of me wants to just stay in this little 100 yard stretch and throw the frog the rest of the day because if I can just get bit, it'll probably be a, a call. Um, not sure I want to cross back over and gamble on some other spots, mainly because if I get there and they're taken, then I'm kind of SOL. So, I mean, this is this is kind of where things get important for tournaments. The decisions, especially for kayaks and spot locations and changes. This is going to be a crucial decision if we stay here the rest of the day or not, but I think it's at least worth another 40, 30, 40 minutes. A lot of things are telling me to stay right now.
Wow, I think that'll call. Maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Quarter inch at best. Okay, what is going on? How is this? It's wrong. I gotta get a new net, apparently. Oh no, I think it's gonna be like really close. No, oh my God, he's a 16.50, just like the other one. Oh, he might be 16.75. Oh God, he would be hard to get to touch. Can I get him to touch 16.75? Dude, he ain't gonna make it. Can't even get a quarter inch out of him. But what a bite that was. That's a call. That's a giant call. Please stay on, dude. Oh my god, that's what we needed, baby. I knew this was the right call to stay here. I knew this was the right call. Man, these fish are fatter than they are long, but I will certainly take them. I think it's about another 18, maybe. Look how fat that one is. Please be 18, please be 18. 18 and a quarter, man. Nice call fish. Nice call fish. Now I gotta call an 18. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a challenge to call an 18. That... Oh god, I thought that was my frog. <gasps> Scared me. Oh my god, there's a bunch of fish in here. Just gotta get lucky and land on one's head. that would have helped to be honest i misspoke we got to get rid of a 1775 not an 18. yeah that was a good one though they're all like 16 to 18 inches in here i think there's got to be a giant lurking somewhere it's so funny like how a lot of these bites are as soon as it hits the water it's like these fish are, i mean it's like 10 inches deep up there just so you guys know i think we've made that pretty clear these fish are super shallow it's almost just like they're looking up right at the bait <laughs> waiting for it to come to them Oh god! Oh my god, stay on! Oh my god! That'll call 1775. Maybe give me another inch or so. That's a good one. Oh yeah. What a call. <laughs> Bleeding and everything. Woo! Dude. We're making a freaking run at this thing. Holy smokes. Got to get rid of a uh, 18 now and we've got 40 minutes. I know for sure. I'm, you know, there's a couple times I almost left this because it seems to die down and pick back up. But 40 more minutes, we're running the same stretch. It, it would be stupid to leave. The big ones are here. Tell me it's another one. Tell me it's another one. Same spot. I don't think that's gonna even call. Just a baby. Just a baby. But a strong baby. Man, hands are looking pretty worn. That's a sign of a good day. Boys and girls, we just set ourselves a day. 1.30, that's pretty epic.
<laughs> All right. Tournament over. Well, half of them are over. I think maybe two thirds of them. The big one's over. Two thirds. The over. West Coast Championship day two is over. Back at the Airbnb, Chase Water, great place to stay. It's been a great time, guys. It has been. Good food. Good beer. Anyways, we'll recap the tournament, the fishing, <laughs> the important stuff. Nobody cares about what we're doing here. West Coast Championship in the books. Let's start with Terrence. How'd you do? Uh, I did better today. I got a, got a lemon. Small, uh, 77, I think, and a quarter. Mike, did you have a better day today? I did, but it was still subpar. 80 something, I don't know. You got high 80s. 88 now. And this will be the next video, but we have day two of the Yakabass Chris Laird Memorial tomorrow. So that's another two day event that we have tomorrow being the final day. And you know, that's a big one as well. So Mike, you're back in the game. I'm back in the game. Aldi, you had a hundred inches yesterday. Would you back it up to that? 87 and a half. It's pretty good though. I still would have beat you in the West Coast. You would have tied and you would have beat me. Would have beat wow, you had all this figured out. <laughs> I would have had 680 more dollars. And uh, myself, you guys saw it, it was weird, weird day. In summary, catching fish on top water in like a foot of water. We had that little flurry at the end. That magical stretch yeah. of... So. At the end. Flurry at the end. Hold on, yeah. Huh. Can I ask this Go question? Because I haven't looked at anything. Obviously, I never do. You did good. Yeah. In the last hour, you probably just smoked them in some secret spot you ran up because you had a poop. You're like, I gotta go up in these tulies and poop. And when you went up there, you're like, oh my God, there's two meanders <laughs> everywhere. And you're like, I'm gonna throw a frog. Oh, they love the frog. And you cold out everything in five minutes. Everything's true about that except the poop. <laughs> no, super good fortune. I mean, my God, that's what has to happen. You have to have the right, you know, place, time, bait. It's a lot of luck. I mean, you saw it yesterday with your yeah. crazy day. Clearly, like, holy, Smoke. People crush like, today. I think, yeah. I mean, when they say Clear Lake being the best lake in the country, or at least always in the top 10, you can see why. There's a hundred boats on here every day, and it still puts out 30 pound bags. We were talking about it, like, they just bite so. Dude, it's, it's different. Shit. The fish yeah. in Clear Lake are not like the fish in your Shaking local lake. Right. You're cutting part of this out, aren't you? Like 75% of <laughs> This is a live stream, Terrence. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Dude, this is one of the best videos happen when we ramble on and he, he's a good editor now. I'm very proud of his editor. Thank you. Pause the video. Well, I gotta go get a beer. Hey, grab me one. Yeah. So. Guys, that's gonna do it for this, uh, this video. Clear Lake is awesome. It is fun. And I think the best part is yet another day of fishing tomorrow, right? It's a best part and the worst part. Both. Because you guys fish a lot. I don't fish. I'm extremely Our hands exhausted. Are, my hand's bleeding like yours. Yeah. I only caught five fish and I got bass them. You, you got, you got bass I'm not going to put mine up there. I have, I'm a working man. I have working hands. You don't get scratched up. I don't like get calloused. calloused over. Correct. Well, guys, thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this one. Fun time with the crew. There'll probably be more to come in the future. And as always, Clear Lake is amazing. Clear Lake is amazing. Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Camera screen.